Welcome back, YouTube. We got more comedy, and that's one of Sam's favorites. That's her little happy dance, I suppose. <laughs> and we've got Ron White for the first time on the channel. We have enjoyed our comedy experiences as a whole, but we haven't got yeah. to Ron White yet. Yeah, no, I'm not even really sure who he is, so I'm excited for something brand new to me. I think he's from down south. Okay, From cool. Texas. So we're going to get a little Texas-style comedy, which I'm looking forward to. A little yeah. bit different flavor. We did Rodney Carrington. He was um, adding a little bit of that country vibes in his comedic Yeah, routine. I liked his. His was good. Yeah, it was great. And uh, so I'm excited to get to know Ron White, and he's looking like he's talking about Tiger Woods here. Dicking, dicking around, around with Tiger Woods. I'm going to have a feeling that this is this, this is related to Tiger Woods um, failed, escapades. failed marriage issues that he may like come across. I like my definition better. Sexual escapades. <laughs> Let's find out about the sexual escapades. As Sam yes. Said. My favorite thing about playing Vegas is I get to play this golf course called Shadow Creek, which is one of the most exclusive golf courses in the world. I worked for them three years, didn't even know it existed because they knew if I found out it existed that I'd pester the fuck out of them until they put it in my contract, which is exactly what happened. <laughs> it's amazing. This golf course is just fucking so tricked out. The first time I walked through the gates, I was like, nobody's stopping me. <laughs> That's where all the pros play when they're in Vegas. And I was out there this summer and Tiger Woods was out there just dicking around. <laughs> <laughs> I may sign my golf glove. I got to meet the most famous person I've ever met. And I know a lot of famous people, but nobody as famous as Tiger fucking Woods. I love Tiger, man. I defended Tiger when all that stuff first came out. When I heard those initial rumors, I felt sick to my goddamn stomach for the guy because I've never been accused of doing anything I didn't do. <laughs> Not one goddamn time. I did it every single time. <laughs> Not once could I go, no, that was Glenn Campbell. <laughs> hey, a lot of things smell like strippers. And I defended him to my wife. I said, you don't know what this guy's been through. He had his first famous golf shot on television when he was two years old. You don't know what his home life's like. You can't judge a guy because he made one mistake. And he gets called number 13, 14, 15, 16. I started going, God damn, Tiger, come on, buddy. And it got to the point where every time he got caught with another woman, my wife would go like this. <laughs> I don't even know the fucking guy. You act like I was holding his dick the whole time. <laughs> we watched him make that long apology on television and afterwards my wife goes, well, do you think a guy like Tiger could quit cheating on his wife? And I said, shit. <laughs> <sighs> you bet. Which you know is bullshit, because you know as well as I do, if a guy likes strange, getting him to quit wanting strange is like getting a dog that likes to kill chickens to quit killing chickens. <laughs> they don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> you gotta quit killing chickens. All right, let me see if I got this straight. <laughs> <Stop. laughs> I can still kill chickens. No, you can't kill chickens anymore. All right. Let's say I'm in a hotel room with the chicken. <laughs> Let's say the chicken just wants to touch me. Can I kill that chicken? No? My wife told me all women want the same thing. They want to marry somebody who will never have sex with anybody else, no matter what. And I said, well, then maybe you should consider marrying somebody that nobody else wants to fuck. <laughs> if it means that much to you, you know. Don't marry the most famous golfer in the world. Marry the most famous Frisbee golfer in the world. Ain't no line to fuck that dude. <laughs> 
He is sounding like a Texas guy. Definitely sounds super southern. As soon as that deep voice came in, yeah. too, right? It's like, yeah, I can picture you being from Texas. 100%. Yeah, and uh, as we thought in the beginning, this is about yes. the sex escapades. <laughs> yeah, sexual escapades. Yeah, and, um, you know, it's, it is a valid point, too, he made, right? And, and once you do know some of Tiger's backstory of his upbringing as a child, I'm pretty sure his dad was a womanizer. And, yeah. you know, he was in, visualizing that right from the get-go, got into fame. And I think the thing that threw everything uh, everybody off so much about Tiger was that he had this squeaky clean image yeah. prior to it all coming out. It was yeah. like, what the hell is going on? Yeah, yeah. And I think like, your he, perception of him was just so different. Yeah, and I think that's what he's alluding to, right? It's like he was defending him in the beginning because people were like, yeah, you know, he made a mistake. He's the world's famous golfer. He's got yeah. so much money. Girls, Girls are throwing, throwing him. Yeah. At him. It's like yeah. he made a mistake. He's got a beautiful wife and kids but he'll you know he'll fix things he's he's you know generally and been like a- and girl number 18 <laughs> <laughs> yeah and so that's what i think is so what's so shocking about tiger's uh experience but he never recovered from that yeah. you know that was like literally a defining moment in his career, like career where everything crushing. went downhill yeah. and um it's unfortunate, right? Because he's he, he, obviously so talented. Yeah, well, he was on the way to breaking a whole ton of records and then just immediately fell off the wagon, right? Yeah. But um Apparently he likes dicking around and <laughs> with chickens at that. It was a great I'm analogy. I'm in a hotel room with the chicken. I <laughs> think that's I my favorite it? part so far. All right, let's get back to it. Said anybody else, no matter what. And I said, well, then maybe you should consider marrying somebody that nobody else wants to fuck. <laughs> if it means that much to you, you know. Don't marry the most famous golfer in the world. Marry the most famous Frisbee golfer in the world. Ain't no line to fuck that dude. (laughs) We had a chat about cheating that day, man. (laughs) My wife told me, she goes, listen, Ron, let's get this straight. Sex is sex, period. I said, no, now, wait a minute. Oral sex is not the same as intercourse. She goes, it's the exact same thing. I said, it's not the same price. I heard that on the radio. (laughs) It all comes down to opportunity, man. Some guys are put into a position where they have to to say no to beautiful women, and that is hard to do. And some guys are never put in that position, and that's way fucking easier. (laughs) I see these big 350-pound guys all the time going, I have never cheated on my wife. I'm like, I bet that was tough. Tiger doesn't get any credit for all that pussy you turned down, and that's the number you're looking for right there. (laughs) My wife's best friend, her husband cheated on her, and my wife hates Tiger's guts, and I'm like, well, what about that guy? You don't hate that guy? She goes, he did it one time. I said, he had one chance. (laughs) This guy had sex with 100% of the women he possibly could his entire goddamn life. Tiger was 18 for (laughs) 82,000. That takes a little goddamn discipline right there. If 82,000 women want to have sex with you and you only fuck 18 of them, that's love. (laughs) He was in love with that woman. She broke his tiny tiger heart. It's also wild how we went from him walking into the golf course yeah. seamlessly into this whole topic of uh, sex and relationships and yeah. cheating and affairs and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. He really seamlessly went into that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From talking from, about this beautiful golf course and then how he met Tiger Woods yeah, into it's, Tiger's intimate life. It's very conversational in yes. his approach to comedy. Yeah. And it's, it's very seamless. You don't even notice the transitions. No. I, I like that when it feels really natural. Like you're mm-hmm. not waiting on a joke or something. Yeah. Yes. It's just yeah. it's just like a funny guy or on like stage. a hard cut to something else. Yeah, he yeah. just seems like generally a guy that would be cracking jokes if you yes. were you know at a dinner or anything, right? Yeah, wouldn't have to be a stand up comedy performance. No, for sure. Yeah, like that's just like part of his personality. Yeah, he ha- he clearly gives no f's as yeah. well. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Look his tiny tiger heart. <laughs> I 
He lost all those sponsors, which never made sense to me because his core fan base is men. I don't know. One guy in America gave a fiddler's fuck what he did. <laughs> I guarantee you, not one guy in America went, Really? Tiger got some strength pussy? <laughs> I'm dropping at and <laughs> Not one guy gave me fiddler's fuck. <laughs> now, when they were around their wives, they'd act like they gave a fiddler's fuck, get all foghorn, leghorn. Why, I never, I can't believe a man would commit such transgressions towards his wife. I say, I say, how's his relationship with the Lord, I'd like to know. <laughs> Then as soon as they're around, their buddies are like, wonder what kind of cologne he wears. <laughs> I want to smell just like that dude, man. <laughs> he lost so many sponsors, I'm thinking about bringing him over to Ron White, Inc. And not because we need a new face for the company. I'd just love to have somebody around the house to fade the heat when I fuck up. <laughs> Ron White, you are the most selfish prick I have ever met in my life. Tiger, get in here. <laughs> you tell her what you did. <laughs> Ron White, you're the finest man I have ever known. I shall fall to my bended knee and suckle your penis. <laughs> well, thank you, baby. Slow down. <laughs> Watch out for those ears. <laughs> that was Ron White yeah. dicking around. He was on uh, stage as well. Yeah, he was. I feel like he got like a little bit more aggressive as time went on. <laughs> as soon as we got that <laughs> fiddler's fuck, I was like, what is that? <laughs> like, try humping the air. <laughs> yeah, his impersonations, I thought, were the best part of that. Yeah, his. no, he was good. I liked him. His, uh, you know, when he gets into other people, the yeah. character of other people. It was also funny, too, because he was kind of like cutting Tiger some slack. Yeah. At the same time as roasting him. Yes. <laughs> Somehow he did both of them. Yes. I also killed him when he was doing his wife's voice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like I said, his impressions were great. I would like yeah. to see more of him. I feel like. Yeah, me too. I feel like he'd be good. Like I said, he's very conversational and free flowing. And I like that with comedy. Mm -hmm. So. Let us know about Ron White and give us some more suggestions yes. down below. We just picked this one, you know, on a whim and uh, didn't know where to start. So we just started here. Yeah. So uh, oh, we that was good. Yeah. We appreciate all your insights, guys. Comment down below where we should go. Make sure you subscribe. Notification bell. We'll see you tomorrow with two more videos. Thanks for watching, guys. See you then.